Hi, and welcome to another episode of Learning with Lion with PC Lion 324. On this episode, I'm going to download and install XAMP, which is a development Apache web server complete with MySQL. To get started, I'm going to go ahead and open up my internet browser Firefox. So I'm going to go ahead and go to the website to download XAMP, which is at www.apachefriends.org I'm going to click on XAMP which is at the top of the menu bar there I'm going to select XAMP for Linux you can select Windows if that's what you're running or Mac if that's what you're running I'm going to select step one download click on the current version of XAMP and that is going to open up the SourceForge download page and I'm going to hit save file and I'm going to watch it download and when it finishes download I will be back for the installation so now that XAMPP is downloaded, I'm going to go ahead and minimize my browser, close this window, and then I'm going to open up a terminal. And let's see, I'm going to make this a little bit bigger. First, I'm going to navigate to the folder where I downloaded XAMPP, which is my downloads folder. So I just did a CD downloads. I'm going to do a list so I can get this right and it appears that I previously downloaded it. Um, then I'm going to type in this command uh, sudo tar, tar xvfz xamp linux the version of the xamp file that you downloaded must go after you know this xamp linux stuff tar gz capital dash capital c slash opt over there it's over there it's a pretty long command and you hit enter it's going to ask you for your password and once you type it in it'll start to extract make sure you do the sudo command or you will get an error um, and when it's done you run it by doing a sudo op lamp lamp start no I'm sorry lamp space start and it's gonna start it all up and then I'm going to um, go back to my web browser here and test it all out by going to the familiar old local host and if you see this XAMP page that means it's running um, now I'm gonna go ahead and do a couple of actually I'm not gonna do nothing um, since this, I'm going to be using it for development, there really is no need to set up security. I am going to go ahead and select my language, and that'll bring you to the main XAMPP page. Um, it may be it'll say stuff differently if you're in Windows. Of course, it won't say XAMPP for Linux if you're running in Windows. And it's got some uh, stuff here: welcome page, status. It tells you what's being run. Um, it's got PHP, Perl, MySQL databases all activated. Um, server side includes is activated. Um, security tab will tell you what's secure. Here it says that everything is unsecure because yeah, I'm gonna just leave it like that. Um, it's got documentation where you can click links to go to the documentation, view a couple of tutorials. Tells you what components are installed. Um, it's got a good bit of stuff here in the demo section it'll show you how to do some stuff um, uh, you know just some couple of things that you can do to install flash art PHP info um, a phone book application 
but main thing is these it come I don't know what Webalizer does uh, statistics I guess PHP admin is where you go to do stuff with my SQL and that is XAMPP installed and running on your system thanks for watching come back and see what's new later on